Hey there and welcome back. Did you catch last episode? I thought it was so cool that we were at a resort built for Marilyn Monroe. Hey everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot, and I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tank Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. Um, what do we talk about? Oh, we're talking about why it took us so long to move on board the boat. It took a long time. I have a lot of stuff to fix. I think it was an, an um, I think it was an emotional thing for me. It was. I just I, I needed to get over that hurdle in my head. I think one of the biggest things that that kind of set the timeline was this deck, getting this deck fixed over our master stateroom. Yeah. That was pretty much the the main the main catalyst was getting that yeah, done. Yeah, but that was ready after we got out of the yard. That deck was fixed. Well, yeah, and we didn't take too long before we moved in out of the, out of the yard. Until we got Josh on board. Yeah. It took what five months? Well, something like that. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that was a long time and I think it was more of not wanting to get the kids out of their routine. Like Josh was pretty comfortable living at home. Eh, I mean there was some of we that. We thought he did. I did. I thought he was. Some of that. I mean the, we didn't have a generator running at the time. That was a big big problem for living on board because yeah. how much have you been running the generator the last little bit with the cloudy weather that we've been having. So that was, I mean you can't be out here with no power. Yeah. So that was 100% required. Because we're living off the grid out here. We are, yeah. But it's, um, moving on to a boat is a big decision. It's it is. Because you, especially if you're not going to live on a dock where you're not plugged in, like you have to have everything running. You are totally off the grid by yourself. You've got to have power and water are the big things. Yep. And not throwing your black suit or black water into the drink. That's true, yeah. So. Black water tanks are a good thing. And I was scared about moving the kids on board. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, you know the pros of it is being out here you're on the water it's it's lovely mm -hmm. waking up every morning and seeing the water is great sitting out here having your coffee fantastic um cons it's calming cons i think the biggest con being out here that i find living is on a pin the, i just want to clarify we live on a mooring yes okay. yeah so the the biggest con that i find out here is the stigma that's associated with liveaboards on boats um, you have a lot of people that don't understand what living aboard a boat is. Uh, they just assume that everybody out here is um, has, has can't no afford money to maintain boats or, or trying not to pay taxes, trying, live free, trying to get away from everything, and it's it's unfortunate. But yeah. I mean, that's that's what you kind of live with when you're out living on board. A lot of places in the world are starting to crack down on live aboards, um, not allowing them or. Or whatnot, so it, it's it's tough that way. But uh, when you think about that, every everything else is pretty trivial. You know, the dinghy ride into shore. Um, it's wet some days. It's cold, but it's ten minutes. So it's, people say to get past that stigma, you should call yourself cruisers versus liveaboards. Yeah. I don't know. We live on board our boat. You could say cruisers. We do move our boat and move around. A lot of these boats out here, they don't move off the mooring, so they are technically living boards. We still move. But, I don't know. Cut people break, man. That's all I say. Like, be kind. Like, the stigma around living boards, get to know them. Go chat to them. They're amazing people. Like, yeah, some people are going through some issues, but eh. Yeah, but I mean, for the most I'll, part, I'll most show you any. I'll are... show you any call app where people are going through some issues. Yeah, for the most part, they're all good, solid people out here. Yep. I mean, it's... And I think my biggest piece of advice: find a place to moor a dock before you buy the boat. A lot of people are going out and buying boats and not having a place to dock or moor. There isn't very much out there, so make sure you've got that lined up before you buy the boat, and make sure it's lined up for the size of boat you purchase. Remember, the bigger the boat, the more you're going to pay in docking. And the harder it is to find and the, moorage. <laughs> the harder it is to find moorage. But yeah, but do we regret it? No. And honestly, no. you know, we, we put our name in a uh, waiting list on a couple of marinas here in town. But at this point, we are quite happy being out on the mooring. Um, we, yeah. I don't think we'd really go into the dock if we had the choice. Um, we're self-sufficient out here. We've got our solar and generator. We've got a water maker that'll be running soon. Um, so, I mean, we'll be 100% uh, off-grid out here. Yeah. So, 
enjoy the film. It's coming up, or the video, about us moving on board and what we did and how we did it. Hey everybody, so we are getting closer and closer to moving on board. Uh, we're going into the yard on April 5th, the bottom paint's going on, the paint's going off, and then we're moving on board. But what do we do with our house? So <laughs> that's always a question, what do you do with your house? We don't want to sell it. Um, it's a great house. My sister lives in it. My parents live in it. It's awesome. We have a three bedroom part of it that's ours. So we thought we would convert it to an Airbnb uh, VRBO. What this means though is getting it ready for that. So let me give you a look of what we've been doing. So it's now all painted white, put up some new pictures. We had to depersonalize and take our family pictures down. We got a new couch, um, well new to us. Sorry, there's lots of laundry. Hi Megs, she likes the couch. But we have to make everything look good. We still have to do the blinds. I got new windows coming in. I put up some new um, boards. Again, we're just depersonalizing it. I'm gonna have a little desk space there for anybody who wants to rent it. Again, this is all painted now too. So everything white, bright, clean. Um, ignore everything. Again, I'm kind of packing everything up as I clean. So as for the kitchen, um, everything was already fairly new about four years ago, but again, it's just depersonalizing. You can see we're just chucking out some of our personal pictures, taking off family pictures. Again, just making everything new. The bathroom still has to be painted. Um, the kids' rooms are gonna have to be painted. And again, you can see Izzy's room, I think we're gonna leave a light purple, it's nice. So, hey Iz, so we're just gonna do that. And then Josh's, he painted it dark brown, so that's gonna have to be redone too. So we'll paint his and put in new curtains, and of course he's still sleeping, it's, you know, almost one o'clock. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do with the house. We have to Airbnb it, VRBO it, but it takes a lot of work to get it ready. What do you guys do with your house when you moved on board? Just a question, see, we still wanna make an income, and I was gonna get permanent renters, but it's hard to get permanent renters out if you need your place. With VRBO and Airbnb, if Josh needs to move back in for a week, two weeks, if we go offshore or something, we can easily book it and he can move back in. So that's our plan. That's what we're gonna do. What did you guys do? That's what I wanna know. So this week is kind of moving week, I guess. I've got Izzy here and you know what? We just went through her whole room. It was holding up all our clothes saying, keep, don't keep, recycle. We did all of her shelves, gone, empty. But the good thing about moving Izzy right now is she's just moving into high school and really it was a cleanse. She did not want anything. So we have her down to two bins of stuff. That doesn't include her clothes. And then we are just going through my clothes and I thought I'd video because one of the big things I just donated, which is kind of weird, is my wedding dress. I do not need a wedding dress on a boat and it's just a thing. I did reuse it once, it's a beautiful wedding dress. You see, I, I'll put a picture up there. But I did use, reuse it once, I cut it and made it short, but I'm never gonna wear it again. Um, Izzy is not going to wear my wedding dress, if you're asking that. See, look, Izzy, you gonna wear my wedding dress to get married? No. So what's the point? It's just stuff. But we have a lot of stuff to get rid of, and right now I'm just going through suits and jackets and everything through this closet and donating everything. I'm thinking I only need maybe one suit, maybe two, that's it, who knows, and suitcases are going to be an issue because there's lots of hard top suitcases in here, so i got to figure out what to do with that, we might have to move to soft, but yeah, it's a big task, so it's just doing Izzy and me right now, um, and then we'll work on Josh's room. <laughs> Izzy got her kind of on board and I think we've got her little office here. What do you think? Oh, she found the Pringles. <laughs> so what do you think about this being your place that you can play computer? It's really good. Yeah? What do you think about the view? I love it. And there's Izzy's life in two bits. As you can see, it's her. <sighs> Let's talk to 
Izzy. Everything's so still cramped from moving on board. Uh, he is. Hello. So what do you think about moving? Well, Not about the moving first, what do you think about okay. moving onto it? Well, it was pretty annoying moving onto it because we had so many boxes to move. Mm -hmm. But after we moved on, it was pretty nice to just be isolated from society. <laughs> isolated from society? <laughs> and why are you sitting on the ground? Because it's cold. So why are you sitting there though? The heater. And you have your heater blowing straight onto you. Well, it is November in Victoria. Yeah. So what do you think about living on the boat? It's pretty nice. Big day. Um, so I'm just heading in for coffee with a friend and she's going to show me how to use the camera that I've got here. However, I've left Izzy by herself on the boat. Um, I'm a bit worried. Not worried. It's just something new, right? Like, she's 14. She's fine. She's quite happy out there. Um, but yeah, big day. She's by herself out there on the boat. And uh, we'll have to see how it goes. I know she'll be fine. It's just, it's, it's, this is more of a mom issue. I got, my, I got to get through it myself. Which, um, yeah, yeah, we're moving forward. This is a good thing. So, what do you think about moving onto a boat? I'm loving it so far. But what about the whole move on process, going through your stuff? Um, it's good to purge some stuff because. We had a lot of stuff. We had a lot of stuff. I still feel like we have a lot of stuff on the boat, but and we don't really have the closets and stuff to put things into yet. Yeah. You feel cluttered? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Get in there though. Mm hmm But it was Slowly. nice to purge through your stuff. It was. Very nice. Holy weekend. Our boat is a friggin' mess. Your team is like a how do you say that? A heated mess. You know, a mess where heat is applied to it. So what once was a little messy is now a heat mess. <laughs> so it's work weekend it's actually a long weekend labor day weekend and you're probably gonna be watching this in october because that's how the show goes izzy is right there and she's been watching a heck of a lot of anime she hasn't done the dishes which she has to do um we just had the pump out boat so the whole place smells like sewage right now the galley's a mess we get stuff everywhere my flooring that i'm gonna put on josh's walls are down there um, it's a bit windy out, it's supposed to rain, so I can't rip up more caulking. So we're gonna put the bar back together. Do you remember that bar I was working, we have so many projects going on all the time, Blaine. So remember oh. that bar I was working on a long time ago? We're gonna put it back together now, Blaine and I. Let's do it, what do you think? Mm -hmm. And maybe get the fridge. Make it happen. That's supposed to be on the aft deck? Oh, oh, the main salon. But yes, that is the scoop. What do you think, Izzy? And what are you gonna do, Izzy? Besides start high school. Nothing. In four days. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to do in the galley? Nothing. <laughs> what are you going to clean? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have teenagers out there? Like seriously, how do you get them to, you know, do dishes? I have the con stuck in my mouth. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Got almonds stuck in my mouth. So, I got all my teeth. Alright, we're gonna be really good parents. Our son, Josh, you tell them. Our son Josh has got a job at Brentwood Bay Pub. So he's starting today. He's like right there. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna spy on him. Yes. Good parents. I'll show you where it is. This is how close it is. Right there. That's where he's gonna start work. Which means. I get my car back, and he just has to take the boat to work. Yep. It also means that he's going to move permanently on board. Yep. Boat's all around us. We gotta watch this. It's Labor Day weekend, and she should be busy. So yeah, let's go see him. <laughs> okay, remember we are on sneak preview. Look at right there. <laughs> Remember, we're on sneak, like, what do we call it? Mission. Stealth mission. Stealth mission to see Josh. Look at the right there. <laughs> we're like horrible parents. <laughs> this is the last of the house stuff. And the most important thing, what is it, Josh? Right 
there. Wah! And this. So who's driving what vehicle here? Who's driving what? Am I driving this one? Well, this is fun. We have stuff in the living room, kitchen, galley. We are full of stuff. I think we have officially moved on. And now it's just putting away stuff and getting the house ready for Airbnb. That's a lot of stuff. Garbage bags full of clothes, dress clothes for Josh to go to work. I think there's even stuff out on the table. And the computer. But yeah, stuff everywhere. Our boy moved back in with us. Our boy moved on to the boat, the 18 year old. Yeah. Josh, and, and check out what Blaine just set up for him. We got his crib down here. His crib, except for the LED flashing lights. Oh boy, here we go. We're starting up with it, huh? Okay, I just want to see. Excuse me. Keep moving, Blaine. Whoa, look at this. What do you think, Josh? Uh, it's nice. I still need to do a bit of cable management, but. That. And see if he wants to watch a movie or something. He can turn his monitor sideways and he can kick his feet up over there or over here and lean back against the side. Oh, look at that. That's cool. If Janice, nice. if Josh is at work and Mama wants to watch a movie, she's coming down. No. Josh, I need to know your password. As long as you don't check his internet history. 57 birds. 57 birds. Where? Yes. All the way out there. So you just sat here and counted birds? Yes. Isn't that a lovely thing to do? There is 57 birds. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Layla. Hi, Layla. Hi. Say hi yeah. to everybody on YouTube. Aw, okay. Everyone, thanks for watching. It is so nice to have the whole family on board Tangaroa. Join us next time as we head to Portland Island, also known as Princess Margaret. If you enjoyed this video, please press a thumbs up. It helps us make more of them just like it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notify bell so you make sure you don't miss one.